Hey guys, Captain Foley back with you for another Captain's Log. And last week I asked you to leave me some comments or questions on the last Captain's Log. And you've done so, I'm going to address those right now. Tony Rantz says, what are, th what are thoughts if someone did an animated series based on the books and brought Kirk back to life? I read the books and loved them. The Shatnerverse, um, also done by Gar Garfield... Judith and Garfield Reed Stevens um, are a fantastic series of books. I would think that would be f fantastic to bring that back, or to bring that on the screen in any form, uh, would be simply stunning. I love those books. Um, I think they're so well done and so enjoyable, especially if you're a fan of Kirk. Um, so yes, 100%, by all means, yes. Matthew uh, DeFridis. Have you and Sam ever considered getting green screens, putting them behind you, and putting different Trek locations behind each of you? Uh, yes, we have considered that. However, to get all the proper lighting for it um, would just make the setups really inconvenient right now. And also that, that doubles the time that it takes to produce each episode. Um, we've considered it. We've thought about it for special um, videos and things like that. Um, it might be something we do eventually, uh, but as of right now, it's kind of impractical to do that. So, yes, we've thought of it. Charles J. Uh, I do like this format of the Captain's Logs better, more engaging. Well, thank you. This is how they started. This was like, I was so eager to get subscribers early on because I had like maybe a hundred. I was like, oh, please ask me questions. I want to get questions. And then I got hardly any got a trickle in so I was answering them and loving it and then I just got a flood of them in once we got started Trek Yards and got a huge audience so I couldn't get to them all so I was kind of like <laughs> you, you know you gotta be careful what you ask for I guess um, but yeah this is definitely a cool fun way to do it uh, Thomas Hill says, I like your input into the history of Star Trek I would like to know if you could please give me an answer about the rank rings on the sleeves of the uniform from the cage where no man has gone before and then the well-known rings in the Cobra maneuver plus why is the uniform cream or flat gold Ahura and Scotty um, I'm not sure I'd have to research the rank insignias for the cage and where no man has gone before I'm not sure how that worked exactly uh, and as for the the difference in color uh, it could be they both transferred um, before you know, we see them in the man trap. Um, I don't know. That's another good question. Could just be the new uniform styling um, covered different departments. It's a very good question. It it actually would be a good video to do something on the history of uniforms. Uh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Undertaker45 says, we recently moved and the hectic process found a USS Enterprise movie model kit completely unopened. Do you have any suggestions of who I could contact to do a professional build like you guys have? Uh, there's quite a few people. Is this the motion picture one? Because if it's the motion picture one with the prismatic stickers, um, that's pretty cool. Those prismatic stickers are kind of hard to get. Uh, I, I don't know who you could get to build it. There's probably just somebody local because to ship those, to ship a, a finished model is a real pain. Uh, and it's almost guaranteed to be broken, especially an Enterprise model, unless it's packed very, very well. So, I mean, I could offer some suggestions of some model builders I know, but I know that they're very busy or they have their, their own projects on the go. So I don't know if they'd want to necessarily do a commission like that. I don't have the time for it. I would... I wouldn't even want to risk it um, as far as shipping it and stuff goes. Uh, and I've got my own refit I need to work on. So uh, I'm going to say no, I don't know. Sorry. Um, Crim Sun Griffin, do you still check your Hotmail account? I emailed last week and have not replied yet. About what? We always check our Hotmail account like every day. Um, if it's to read uh, details on a ship or something like that, sometimes we don't get have a chance to get around to it. Uh, we will get back to you. Um, what is your real name? Like, you should have put this information in this question so that I could go and check the email uh, and see what you're talking about. Um, is it a question about uh, getting something on the show? What is it a question about? People email us stuff all the time like, can the Prometheus land on a planet? 
you know, sometimes I don't have the time to answer questions like that. Uh, one gentleman emails us pretty much two, three times a week with, can the Prometheus land on a planet? Can, you know, does the Prometheus have a captain's yacht? Things like that. Just one word or one sentence emails. Um, I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time to do that. Um, I answered the first few of his and then he kind of got, I guess, expecting it. And I just, I can't look it up or do the research for each one. So I don't know what you're referring to. Email us back or put it in the next captain's log, uh, what it's pertaining. And I'll definitely be able to tell you, but yes, we check our hotmail all the time. Jamet Leopard says, I'm not sure I understand why it's difficult to talk a little more about whatever you want. You're sitting here talking to a camera right now. Would it kill you to review anything that's on your mind? You briefly showed the amazing Enterprise model that was on a, the calendar. I mean, I understand if you can't do it and want to go in depth because that's for later, or if you could just fi flat out say no, you're not doing it too. <clears throat> I don't know. Then again, talk to the camera for like five, three to five extra minutes and get it out of your system. I don't know what you're referring to. Uh, I tend to talk as much as I need to about any particular thing. Um, I'm not, I don't feel rushed during these. Um, I don't want them to be too long generally, but I don't know what specifically you're referring to. It sounds like you're referring to something specific I said in my last captain's log, which I can't recall. Um, so I don't quite know what you mean, sorry. Rebel1701, after seeing this, I am glad I have not been able to order the Mega Box Enterprise. Uh, the thing is huge. I'd have nowhere to put it in my display. Uh, LOL. Still thinking about ordering it for the future, though. As for the captain's logs, Captain Foley, do what you are comfortable with. Old or new format, whatever works for you. I personally like this format. Old, but you are the guy in front of the sensor, or the camera. Keep up the great work. Um, that goes for all of Team Trek Guards, Live Long and Prosper. Yeah, I mean... Some captain's logs will be totally dedicated to something different, um, but the majority of them I'm going to at least include a few questions or comments from you guys in them uh, to start off with and then maybe finish up with something else. Um, but some of them are going to be no questions or comments. Uh, that's just the way it's going to go, so I uh, hope that's okay. Slider. Not watching all of your logs, but I like stopping by every now and then. I really enjoy your gentle enthusiasm for all things Trek, as well as your passion and heart here, and your models are awesome. Well, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Chris White, uh, I'm glad this version of the Captain's Log came back. That also makes me happy. Uh, Wellington Smithopolis Esquire, my question is... What are those bots doing to what I assume is the Enterprise on the screen over your shoulder, Cap Thanks, Captain. Um, what are those bots doing? I mean, there are droids up there, uh, but the screen over my shoulder was that screen, which was just running Alcars, so I don't know which bots you're referring to, to which Enterprise. I don't understand. Please clarify. <coughs> Chris White. Are the com badges in the Teespring website? No, because Teespring only makes their own product. So the, the, the com badges are on their way. We are doing up an order of them soon that we'll let you know how to get a hold of them. But no, Teespring doesn't make com badges as a general product. No. Tony Rance. Uh, do you think Eagle Moss should try collaboration with Megavox to help them with new ideas for ship builds? Mm -mm. Um... I don't think that would be anything that would ever actually happen. Those two working together. Megablox hasn't put out anything Star Trek for quite a while. I don't know what's up with the licensing with that. So, no, I don't think that's a a good idea. I'd like Megablox to maybe do a refit, though. A refit Enterprise would be cool. Uh, KG313, no question today, but wanted to say thank you and very cool of you to engage your fans this way. Well, you're welcome. Um, I just love talking to people, so... Trevor McGoggin, a uh, great log. Pair a triple, pair a triple bath poof with a soap. LOL. There you go. There's a great Trek Yards product. It's just like a triple on a rope with a soap. Rob Moss, hell yes, soap on a rope. Go for it. Username whatever, uh, Bugman. He says, Chris White, first one. And then there's another one, because I don't know if you were the first one. 
Tom Xeros48 question. I know that as a gay man, I'm in the minority here, but any plans for a man pinup t-shirt? Probably not. Um, we've had quite a few requests for that, actually. Um, it might be something we can explore. I just, I don't know if it would sell, to be honest. Um, and there were no, like, gay man pinups on World War II planes, because that's kind of the pinup thing we're going for, uh, for, the, like, the World War II thing. So, don't mean to, to sound, you know, like, anti-gay or anything, because I'm definitely not. But I don't know how we would market that, or even if it would be something that would sell, to be fair. I mean, we could do something. I don't know. That's a good question, though. I'll have to think about that and look into that. Um, so, anyway, that is it for the Trek Yards questions. Now I'm going to head on over to the Captain Foley personal channel, um, this page here, and check out the comments on the Captain's Log on this one. Now I've released quite a few um, videos since the last Captain's Log. I suggest you guys check them out. There's some really good stuff there. Um, where's my Captain? There it is. All right. Back to the old formula, it says. And this only has three comments. So, um, there's no names on these. Oh, yes, Jason Link. Sorry. Hey, Captain. Any thoughts about the allegations against Vic Manana and the lawsuit he is probably bringing against his accusers? The thoughts on Rooster Teeth firing him and Funimation basically back blackballing him without any criminal investigation or conviction against him? I think it's kind of shitty that they would do that. And I don't know what's up with the situation. I know he's kind of fired back now. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I think it's just a shitty situation all around. And I, I feel bad for the guy, but, you know, we've got to see how it plays out. So, but yeah, to be fired without any kind of proof, just allegations, that's scary. That makes the world a scary place, guys. You've got to be very careful with how you deal with people and situations so that you don't get stuck in that kind of thing. Really? This, there we go. I had a light shining on this stuff and it, 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 it burned out, which was sad. Uh, Defiant M. Raven Productions says, Hey Cap, what is your absolute favorite piece of Trek merchandise that you own? Oh my god, that's such a weird question. I, I can't pick. There's so much cool stuff. Probably my 350 scale Enterprise that I built. Uh, also my South Bend Enterprise, uh, which is one of the original uh, toys that can be reconfigured into different configurations. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's tough. Even my Wand Company phaser is very cool. I don't know, I just got, I can't pick a favorite. That's like picking a favorite child. Mine's Cassie, by the way. Just kidding. Um, question number two. What is your favorite drink while on duty? I don't drink while on duty. Nice, nice way to trip me up there. Um, but that being said, I do really enjoy Crown Royal. Um, also crack and dark spiced rum with Coke. Um, Crown Royal does have some flavored ones as well. There's a green apple, which is really good. There's a peach, which they're coming out with, which I'm looking forward to trying. Uh, so things like that. Uh, I love sourpuss as well. Uh, that's always good. So lots of things, but not never on duty. Come on now. Uh, number three, what is your least favorite fan film starship design ever? My least favorite fan film design. Uh... I'm not a huge fan of the Icarus from Renegades, to be fair. It doesn't really look like anything Starfleet, so I'm going to have to go with that. Number four, what, why are you such a good friend to all of us? Because I love you all, and we all have something in common. We all love Trek, and it's, all, it's like we all know, have known each other forever, and we all have something common to talk about every time we see each other because of it. Number five, my idea for a topic, epic deviant art starship designs. That'd be cool. Um, we kind of do that, though, with fan designs and also our mission briefings that talk about fan designs. This just went off again. I don't know what's up with this battery. The battery should be good. Oh, see? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Just trying to show off more of my room and some of my collection and stuff by standing in different spots. Uh, so, 
deviant art designs that'd be cool um but we kind of do that already with we pick random ones for mission briefings and stuff to talk about so uh, thank you for mentioning my comment. This is Jeffrey uh, Ornstein. Thank you for mentioning my comment, Captain. I really have been enjoying watching your Captain's Logs every night. Whether new or not so new, it's all great. So thank you. I uh, really appreciate that. Appreciate that you enjoy them. Appreciate that you appreciate them. Anyway, you can't see what's going on back there now. But that's okay. Yeah, as I was saying, I've popped out of quite a few reviews and stuff, older reviews from the Trek Yards page to the Captain Foley Personal Channel. Check them out. There's some really cool stuff coming uh, to the Captain Foley Personal Channel, uh, both new content as well as re-uploads, um, stuff you might have missed the first time around, reviews, and just really cool stuff. Check it out. Go subscribe to the Captain Foley Personal Channel. Link is in the description. Yes, I'm just going to give up on this in a second, but something I wanted to show you guys, um, uh, so let me just go grab that and I'll be right with you. There's what I want to show you guys. This was sent to me by gentleman by the name of Ron Morris. Uh, this is one of his 3D printed creations. It's kind of a fixed Kelvinverse Enterprise. I actually really like this one. The nacelles are properly spaced. They're properly sized. Uh, everything looks proportionally really cool on this design. Uh, I will include some pictures of it uh, for you guys. It also comes with its own stand, which is just basically <laughs> the struts and the nacelles. But and it sits there like that. So, uh, yeah, he was nice enough to send Samuel and myself one of these each. Um, wanted us to uh, look at them. And he's got a place you can order these from on Facebook. There's a Facebook uh, page called Dream Factory 3D. Um, it's right there, Dream Factory 3D. He's got some other ones as well, some Klingon designs, his own Oberth design. And this one, if you look, is called the USS Trek Yards NCC 101410. So October 2014, that's when we started. Uh, so our anniversary is the registry number. And like I said, I'm going to uh, include some close-ups of this. It is a 3D print, uh, so there is some lines in it. I think I'm getting a smoother or a leveler primer to put on this and then paint it. Uh, but you can see like there's escape hatches on the top, escape pods. Um, nice, decent sized windows. This thing isn't too big. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, the bottom has a cool planetary sensor dome. And uh, the neck looks really good. It's not too long, not too stubby. Looks kind of perfect. A uh, nice mix of uh, refit style with like an Excelsior style. Um, it's got a deflector dish, which you can also choose an inset deflector as well. Um, I didn't get sent that. I just got sent this one, which is fine because this is what I was going to use anyway. Um, the cutout here is nice. Uh, I w would have probably preferred it went back a little bit further and then cut up, but that's fine. That looks really good. Um, open shuttle bay concept at the back there, which looks really neat. Cool struts. The struts look really good. This thing looks amazing from the side, just like the, the JJ Prize. It looks amazing from the side, but as soon as you do this, it's like, oh, the engines are too close together. Stop it. These ones are perfect. Uh, the nacelles look great. They are... They got the shroud on them like the JJ ones, but they're also very, um, uh, very slim. Uh, they're not as thick and bulky as the JJ ones. So, yeah. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed looking at this. Uh, if you want to check out the 3D uh, factory on Facebook, I think that's what it's called, 3D or Dream Factory 3D. Uh, check out Dream, Dream Factory 3D. Tell Ross Morris that Captain Foley sent you. Um, I really appreciated this. He sent this to us. Uh, both me and Samuel have one now, and 
it's great that it's got the track yards uh, registry and name on there. That's really fun. Uh, it did come in a few pieces because uh, it is 3D printed like this piece comes out and then it just slides in. He had it fully assembled before he shipped it, but by the time it got to me, it was in like eight pieces that I had to assemble. Um, but anyway, that's 3D printing for you. I think it's fantastic. It takes everything that's right about the Kelvin Enterprise and retains it. Everything that's wrong about the Kelvin Enterprise, it fixes it. So it's a stunning piece. I just wanted to show it off. Uh, I was going to do a separate uh, review on it at some point. I still haven't got the go-ahead from Ron to do that, but I really wanted to share it with you. Um, so, by all means, go talk to Ron Morris. Tell him that Captain Foley sent you, uh, that you really loved what he has, has done here, and uh, pick yourself up one, maybe. Plus, check out his other stuff, the Klingon stuff, the, the Oberth. They're really cool designs, uh, so definitely worth checking out. Um, but that's it for this Captain's Log. I think uh, I did make some notes. Maybe there's just something I wanted to talk about other than that. Sorry, I'm kind of disorganized this morning, and I apologize for that. Yeah, basically just that uh, copyright issues on, on uh, YouTube suck. I mean, you use like a 14-second clip of something that you really like, like the intro to... The Oscars, when we did our Trek Yards Oscars, that gets copyright flagged. That Captain's, or the Trek Yards musical that I did, got flagged initially for the rent music that's in it. Um, it says, the email says, don't worry, you've done nothing wrong. Um, you, there will still be, continue to be ads around on this, but the person, the music company that owns the rent soundtrack will be getting the, the, the profits from it. It's like, that's fine, that's cool. Uh, and I put that, that video up on both the Captain Foley personal channel and the Trek Yards channel. Got hit on both. Got hit on the Captain Foley personal one first, then the Trek Yards one. Then a few days later, it gets taken down from the Trek Yards channel and gets a copyright strike. Um, now, a copyright strike is bad. Um, and you know why it was taken down? Because CBS took it down because I used a clip of the Discovery crew singing their version of the song and then did a correction. And I did it out of love. I thought it was great. I thought it was a fantastic piece. I commented on how good it was. But copyright strike taken down, uh, DMCA, because CBS, you can't even fight CBS on those. Uh, they will not um, budge, in their opinion. Everybody else, you can, you can, you know, you can argue it. You can you can take it to um, the next level and say, you know, I'm saying that this isn't right. I can't even think the words right now. But anyway, um, and uh, the, the, sometimes they'll do some. They'll be like, okay, that's fine. Actually, I, actually, is fair use or whatever. Uh, so they'll take the strike back. But CBS is really bad for it. So I got a really bad taste in my mouth from CBS about that and the fact that. The Captain Foley personal channel version of the exact same video has not been touched. It is still there. It is still viewable. So if you haven't seen Trek Yards, the musical where I sing, go check it out on the Captain Foley personal channel because who knows how long it's going to be there. Um, so anyway, that's, that's, that's where we stand on that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I thought there was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about, but... That's basically it, actually. Um, so thank you very much for joining me for this Captain's Log. As always, um, make sure you put your comments and questions down below. I'll try to get to them next time. If not all of them, I'll pick and choose some. Because uh, uh, as I do this again with the old style and say, leave your questions and comments, it's going to start filling up. And soon it's going to be like 126 comments, and I just can't do all those in a Captain's Log. So, <sighs> yeah. Um, and I'm going to get to that point again, I think, where I'm going to have to st stop taking all of them. Um, but I will try to hit as many as I possibly can. So put those comments down below. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification icon. Help us out on Patreon if you can. Visit the Teespring store. There's lots of cool Trek merchandise. And a lot of people have been getting their, their mugs and their shirts and all this cool stuff. And yes, I'll think about a, a, a male kind of pinup style. It's actually a good idea. Um, we'll just have to see... 
how, how to go about that. But keep an eye out because that's something that uh, we've had a few requests for actually, uh, even from some of my good friends. So um, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. So, um, but anyway, as always, guys, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out the other channel as well. And also check out other videos from me and from us. Uh, we love talking to you guys and hanging out. So enjoy what we do for you. Until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley. Bye.